Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. It's me, Admiral Pegasus with The Pegasus Show and today is a big one. Yes, it is the launch of Voyager and as per the intro and the convoluted loop. Yes, we are going to go through the Voyager loop step by step from grinding it out to all the lovely refineries. Now, what we're going to see on day one with everything that I've gathered since um, the Voyage arc started. I do not know how far we'll get, but we will see. Now, let's start with the simple, with the um, basics first. So the first point is you're going to look into your refinery, and obviously this is starting at the bottom, and you're going to find right here is the Voyager tab. And what you're going to do is you're going to see this. You're going to click on this. We're not going to do it yet. No, we're not. Because as you can see, we have Voyager. Now, I am one shard away from completing it. That is what I'm going to do right now. Obviously, the intro, you saw it being launched. Yes, that... Yeah. It was the easiest way to do the intro. But if you have a look, it's a single chest. Obviously, it's right behind um, Mr. Cheria. But it's 500 of these relic... Um, Herogen relics, which you will need to acquire. So in total, you're going to need around about 50,000. As you can see from the tab at the top, I've got 120,000, so I've got a good lead. Now, what I'm going to strongly recommend is that while grinding out your 100 day path, yes, by the time you actually watch this video, if you're starting the Voyager arc from uh, Voyager loop from afresh, you have got 100 days or around 92 if you actually stick to the 22 hour cooldown, which means good luck and getting some sleep on some day on some days. Yeah. It was a bit of a nightmare for me, so I stopped it for the last week and just did it on a 24-hour timer. To be honest, are you missing much by waiting an extra eight days? Not particularly, in, in my opinion. But I would highly recommend that you do try and grind out as many of these Herogen relics as possible. Now, before we click on Voyager, where are we going to grind them? Well, for the low-level players, you're going to be looking here. And if we actually find the Enterprise, which is currently sat in that system, we're not going to... Um, let's just close that one down a minute. And we are looking for... Oh, here we go. Found two straight. Is these Erosion Hunters. And if you click on here, as you can see, they've got some relics. They're particularly small. Sorry. But again, this is where you start. Now... If you are a lower level player and you want to start the grind early and you want to be adventurous, then I would highly recommend that you go all the way up here to where the Valdor is. Yes, the Valdor is currently sat in the very first system. And you're looking for these things called the Erosion Hunter Elites. Now, these will contain a larger amount of um, relics. Obviously... Ignore the crew I've got on top. What I, the crew I would highly recommend is if we actually just go onto a different ship to show this. Because I should have put them on in the first place. I don't know why I didn't. But you are looking for um, this formation here. As you can see I've got Mantis and DQ. DQ obviously being Delta Quadrant. You've got Tal, five as captain. And Giorgio, you could put Nero there if you so wished. So, five is obviously going to give you that loot boost. Tal is obviously going to strip the hull. And you need um, a burning officer in form of Nero or Giorgio for actually starting Tal off. Because he requires burning. Now, obviously, I've got um, that and it's not going to work very well against um, battleships, unfortunately. But if we scroll out, and I don't think I'm going to find one, but you will find one in any of these systems, which includes the systems north and south, and following the trail round, you'll find all these Herogen elites, but you'll also find a heavy transport. Now, I haven't got one in my battle logs, because I've had my uh, Vultivore in augment space grinding all night. So, sad they were there, but they contain a larger amount of the materials, of the relics. So, go in, grind it out. Like I said, I would highly recommend you use um, 5 of 11. I can't do it right now because I've got the ship there. So, yeah. So, if we just, can I zoom in? Yeah, so, like, these systems have got highlighted. Now, the ones with the tokens, 
do not worry, we will discuss them um, briefly um, later on in the video as we go progress through the loop. Because right now, you do not need them. You do not even need to consider those systems, in all honesty. So, <clears throat> we will look into that. So, without further ado, we're going to collect that final shard. And we are going to get Voyager going. So, there we go. Boom. Voyager. Now, as you can see, we've got the cooldown already. But, it's a blueprint exchange. That is going to disappear very soon. So, we need to jump into starships. And we scroll all the way across to Voyager. Which should be lit up green. Oh, got another Enterprise I can build. Woohoo! I might consider building another Enterprise and getting it maxed. Base defense using their shields would probably be good. So there we go, we've got Voyager here. Build. Now, as you can see, it's going to kick out at 3.3 million, just under. It's going to cost me 102... Um, 0.3 million titanium and 216,000 dilithium and some ore and some gas. Now this is an explorer with two ship abilities which we will cover in this show today. It's going to take nine days to build. No, it's not. <laughs> and this is its main ability which is increasing damage to Delta Quadrant hostiles and they've got to have that DQ tag by five uh, by 50,000 percent so basically this thing should perform as well as my uh, tier 6 uh, Valdor so now for those of you in the lower regions lower than Ops 46 which is obvious um that's going to be a significant boost it's going to be better than pretty much what you mostly got but bearing in mind it is a low it it's going to start pretty crap most ships usually do so let's get the build on and we're going to ask for help, which we're not going to worry about because we're going to shoot through nine days. There we go. Nine days gone. A bit of latinum. Woohoo. And oh, hello. We've got last 12 minutes. So let's get that gone. Here we go. So here we go. Okay, so Voyage is now out, and obviously uh, that bit's been edited, so I've obviously moved to the front of the video to show you the launch. So, um, just have, let's have a quick um, spin around. I, I do love the um, detail of the ship. I mean, they've, they've actually got quite far out. I can't even zoom in. So, um, the, to me, the impulse engines are a little bit more illuminated than they should be, but then again, this is Scopely. They want to enhance things. So, let's click it out. And let's go over to the dock where, well, the one dock. Oh, hello. We're downloading. <laughs> what we downloading? Okay, so it's finally actually clicked in. And here we go with the Voyager um, screenshots. So, it's the convoluted loop. Destroy hostiles in the Delta Quadrant to gather relics and then refine them for the Deuterium canisters to use Voyager's abilities. So the Deuterium canisters is that blue thing on the far side there, which we will discuss in just a moment. Um, use Voyager's advanced sensors ability to reveal the hidden species, 8472 bioships, and take them down to gather exotic particles. Again, we will discuss that little bit as well. And then exchange the bios, uh, biotoxins from 8472 for travel tokens. Commerce insignias, again, we will cover them. Um... Travel to Voyager token space to harvest anomaly samples. So, yet yeah, you got some mining to do, which can be exchanged for isolytic artifacts and other rewards. So, that is basically the loop in a nutshell. So, if you don't want to watch any more, by all means, thank you very much for joining us. However, I am actually going to go through everything. So, if we jump up here, it's back to the refinery, we hopefully will actually see a change in the refinery. If I can just actually highlight it. Boom! Here's the highlight. So, yes. Now, as you can see, I've already got some exotic toxins up here. I've got 720. Not really going to be much help at the minute. And here's the anomaly samples, which you need to collect. So, if we click on here, this is where you're going to get circuitry fragments and your deuterium canisters. Now, tier one Voyager. We are going to collect this to begin with because I want to see if it actually refreshes when I go to tier 2. 
if I manage to get there. But we'll have to wait and see. So, my best recommendation in this is going to be click that three chest all the time. Now, looking at this, uh, six, uh, 670 for one, two, uh, 1550 for two, and three. Right, so it's definitely not linear. It's going like that. But, but, you need these deuterium canisters. So, we're going to collect the three for now. And I've got 35 circuitry fragments as well and some deuterium canisters. Woohoo! So there's a start. Now, we have a dock here which is available for me to put Voyager on to showcase it. Now, Voyager was 3 million, 3 or 4 million in the um, thingy. But yeah, I can't. Is he behind me? No. I bet you guys are shouting at the screen telling me, it's there, it's there. Oh, there it is. So here we go. So it's come out at 3.2 million. So we're going to assign the ship. Uh, feels like home. As you can see, 50,000 um, already. Uh, so quick look at the details then. So attack is 618,000. Defense, 870. And health at 1 million. A DPR, 476,000 already. No isolytic because we've got no isolytic on it. Um, decent accuracy, not too bad critical damage as well. Defense, um, all seems, um, pretty reasonable for an explorer. Um, hull health and shield health, yeah, okay, but it is a specialty ship. Now, here's the big thing is impulse speed and warp range is massive. It is a faster ship, it rivals the Italios for, for speed and it needs to to catch those hostiles sometimes. Uh, what range? It will end up with a massive what range. There is a whole pile of research which we will go into um, as the video progresses. Now you can see my cargo capacity currently is 5,280. As you can see here in the screenshot, its baseline is 3,000. So that is literally based on all my research. 5,000 is not a very big cargo bay for a combat ship of any sort, whether it's specialty or full-blown warship. So you do need to boost it and you will need to go through various research to do it. So that's Voyager. In fact, I'll tell you what, before we go any further, can we actually upgrade anything? And the answer is no. But look at the number of slots we have. So let me shrink myself down a wee bit. So the first one we've got is obviously the engine. As you can see, we're going to need some of these Voyager parts, um, which you get from the Voyager refinery or from the store. And so, yep, and that's going to increase my warp range up to, at least that's a warp range of 30. So, yeah, I'm going to go to a warp range of, what, 50 with that one? Yep. So, not a big boost to begin with, but that's absolutely fine. We've got a metaphasic shield, which again, you're going to need some Voyager parts. Um, it looks like I've actually got no chance of doing anything because I've got no Voyager parts, literally. But uh, you've got an impulse engine as well. Uh, this one is the ablative generator. Then you've got a harvester, which is for your um, anomaly samples. And here comes the big ones, the photon torpedoes. The, um, uh, another photon torpedo. Oh, but apparently that's an energy weapon. Is the other one an energy? Yeah, it's an energy. Photon torpedoes are not energies. They're, they're kinetic. Ugh. And then quantum torpedoes. Woo! -hoo. So, and obviously your cargo bay. Now, as you can see as well from the stats across the spot there, I was looking at a 30% increase, which will, it's, yeah, it's reasonable. I definitely would focus on the cargo bay, for if anything, because you're going to need that bigger cargo capacity. Now, oh, I forgot to do one thing. Now, obviously we saw it's 50,000 kicking out. So if we actually do this, if we take it straight to level five, and, oh, it's not changed it. Okay, so I guess um, leveling does not affect that. So, that's a bit of a shocker. Officer slots, as you can see, the first one's already opened up, being level 5, 10, 20, 30, 40, 45, and 55. It is a 12 tier ship, so just bear that in mind. Now, we're going to take Voyager off this dock, because I'm going to bring the Valdor home. And we're going to put the Voyager on there. We'll deal with that in just a second, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump over to the research and we're gonna look through the, quickly look through all the research. 
And if we go into the star base, starships tree and scroll right across to right here. This one first. High resolution imaging, you will need to unlock this one and then you'll need to work your way through, like I said, for the cargo bay to this particular one right here. This will increase your cargo bay, so as you can see it's a 100% increase already. So that's going to get us up to a base of 6,000, well actually just go to a base of 6,000, plus my other research on top. So yeah, so here we go, so we'll, and we're going to have to clear off a... Um, uh, a piece of research but four hours to do this one let's find the lowest one because I know for fact I haven't got a lot of latinum left to play with so there we go get this one done and it should open up now I'm going to work my way he through here and just opening up all the different ones that I can open as you can see that now requires 90 yeah no chance of that one Antimatter cycle. Okay, so I'm not going to go any further, but this will increase your warp range, as you can see, kicking out at 25 um, on top. So that will take me from uh, what currently 45, 50 to warp range 70. So I can have warp range 75 with a tier two, but that's as much as we can get. Also, if you would like to, you can do this one, but of course you're going to need 5,000 of the damn things, and this will open up the below deck slots for your officers in the presets. So that's as much research as we can do right now. Obviously, we can't do much else. So let's jump back to the refinery briefly and see if there is anything else we can actually do. So we've got the loot exchange. No, we can't do anything in here. But in here, what you're ideally looking for is to be pulling that free chest. Ideally. Um, these... Right, well, I'll say between one and two, it's linear. But going to chest 3, it does that. But I definitely would highly recommend chest 3. Because you're going to need these um, warp cells to use. And also you're going to get the parts as well for Voyager. So now, next up is the anomaly samples when you start mining. Obviously I've got none available at the minute. But you get a high level of um, circuitry requirements. But look at this, for tier 1 Voyager I need 50,000... Um, common anomaly samples these do have cooldowns by the way which are extended this is why this video is going to be recorded over several days just to actually do the loop then you've got a rare one this has got a seven day cooldown and this is the top one uh, but again some more common signals more circuitry fragments more parts and obviously it's like the last one but i didn't show it which i should have done but this one has also got all the um shards available to you start collecting for the new isolytic um, artifacts so explore commerce basically you can go in here and start spending on these which will give you some parts and sh some ship xp which is very welcome you've got the franklin a parts amalgam devor fisher and the cerritos as well um oh but it's all rng in here yay we've gotta love rng so, whereas these ones are guaranteed. So, now, let's have, just go back to the um, anomaly samples a minute. So, in here for the RNG, there's your um, pulls for the circuitry fragments. So, it looks like you'll be able to get a fair while, but obviously you'll have to level Voyager up. Um, small pull, medium pull, large pull. So, there's an extra roll on that one. Oh, my lordy. Uh, parts... And then, yeah, so, and then is the, so, then the rest of it is going to be whatever. Um, anomaly samples, are, are, is this one going to have better ones? Yep. Oh, it's even giving you full unlock chances as well. Yay. And again, extra um, rolls as well. So, there you go, just to show them off. So... Yeah. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to send Voyager out and we're going to actually do some farming. And we're going to put the correct crew on board. Now, there we go. So this is the crew I will be using with Voyager until I get round to having Janeway. Um, take them two off. But as you can see, I'm also going to leave Hugh on. Because, oh, not that one. 
this one here, because of his chance um, of getting a critical hit. So, bonus round for there. So, what we're going to do is we're gonna, they're switched around. So, I'm going to send Voyager, and then what we'll do is we'll jump into stfc.space, where we're going to look over some of the numbers for Voyager while it's travelling. And then we'll get down into the nitty-gritty of the... Um, of the R, uh, the loop. <clears throat> so I'm actually going to take it up here. So how far can I go? I can definitely reach that system. I, but I can't reach that system yet. So we definitely got to start here. Good job I got a load of those relics. This is another reason why I say about grind them out, grind them out. Make sure you can grind them out. But it's absolutely fine because we will be able to showcase um, Voyager's um, thingy as we go. So, let's jump over to stfc.space, where we'll have a look. Okay, so I've, I've had to adjust the screen a little bit, because for some reason the phone won't auto-rotate. But it's going to make it a little bit easier for me to show off um, Voyager. So I do apologise about the gap at the top there. I wasn't expecting to be doing it like this. So, obviously I spelled Voyager wrong, and yes, it doesn't allow me to actually do that. So, that should be enough. Voyager... So, Voyager, as you can see then, so it's ship ability, and looking at it, oh no, it does increase, actually, it does increase. Ah, uh, oh, so it only increases by tier. By tier. So, yeah, joy fun. So, here's your total cost for it then. There are two locks for Voyager as well. The coaxial drive G4 and the coaxial drive uh, G5. Uh, 44.2 trillion um, tritanium to fully upgrade with uh, 55.7 billion um, dilithium. Uh, G3 explore parts, G4 and G5 common and uncommon, and also G4, G5 rare. Um, refined gas, uh, G3, 4 and 5. And that's it, there's no war. So it's pure gas, this ship. And obviously a total of 110,000 um, Voyager parts. So if we scroll a little bit further down, we can actually look at the ship's warp ranges. As you can see, it kicks out at 30 but and then tops out 155. But there is research which is going to make that incres incredibly massive as well. Here's your cargo. Obviously, I did do the screenshot earlier. 3,000 is your baseline. But going up to tier 2 actually makes it up to 12,000. So, yeah, you, you're still going to need a lot. Um, crew in, if we quickly look at this one, as you can see, the bonuses as well. Um, 45,000 stats gives you a 500% bonus on all three levels. RC7 slots. Uh, firing pattern for Voyager is going to be 5-5. Um, five, five, nine five five nine so yeah there we go so that's the simple numbers let's jump back into the game and actually you know go shoot something okay so now now we're back the right way around and voyager has arrived so we'll just do that because it's easier to call up so there's my little voyager sat in the system now now, obviously, if we find any of these um, Herogen transports coming in, we will go hunt it down. So, Voyager has two different abilities. First of all, we're gonna, I'll just quickly show you this one, which is ability to find a player's station. Yes. So, if you need to find a player because you want to raid them or because they are the KOS... This is a great ability, but I will warn you, it is slightly more expensive and it will reduce the number of um, bioships that you can actively hunt. Now, this one is revealing the species 8472. You can see it's 500. So, yeah, we won't do that just yet because I've just thought about showing you the cost. If we if we select this player up here, what you will notice at the bottom is obviously the tag. It's an LGBT player. So it's tagged there so I can locate his base. As you can see, it costed me 750. So technically I can do two a day. But in all honesty, unless you're at war, 
I will show it off on a live stream after this video is released because I will build up some of these to actually do it. Um, so if you're at war or there's a KOS that you really, 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 really want to go after, you can use it. I'm not going to waste that juice on this just now. But yeah, let's have a look at how well these uh, Voyager can actually kill these. So we're going in. Um, forgot to actually have a look at how much loot this one's actually got. But we saw this about 118 on the last one. And as you can see, fire's increased it to 190 for me. So yes, there is some stuff to do. Just bear that bit in mind. So that's not bad. We've not taken much damage. Cool. Carry on grinding it out. Now, we're moving on to the next bit. Which it is the summoning of 8472. So if we click that, 8472 is going to appear. And what he's going to do... Oh, he's appeared right on top of me. So I've not a chance to do anything. So, But as you can see, Voyager has taken that one down so easily. It's unreal. Now, with these things, you do need to kill them quick. So maybe using the, the crew that I'm using might not be the best way around it. But... Yeah, but what you're going to get out of these things? Well, if we can actually jump in, you're going to get your exotic particles. Now, as you can see, Tal hasn't actually done that much damage because, yeah, but like I said, you need to kill these things within the first seven rounds because there is a big gun in round eight which shoots a massive shot. There you go, three rounds it's taken me. So I can easily go to the next level and take on the next one. I mean, what's this? Three billion. Is it 3 billion? Yeah, 3 billion power. And Void just taking it out like that. So, now, obviously, I've, there's the firing pattern for the bio ships. You can see that 8th round. It's a big gun. Very powerful. It will blow you up no matter what. There's not a damn thing you can do. But, as you can see with the um, toxins, ooh, 496. Yeah. So, basically, you want to be hitting higher on them as well. Um, obviously, if you're level 46 and you've got the Shipyard 46, uh, you will be most likely using your G4 rares with the increased loot bonus that they have. So that would increase that loot even more. If you've got the Doctor, um, he is also going to be another good one to increase your loot. I haven't got the Doctor yet. I won't get him till the event store. So, yeah, I've got to wait, unfortunately. So just bear that in mind you probably are going to be limited. So what we're going to do is we're going to do two more. And then we're going to take that back to the refinery and see what we can do with that. So here comes another one. Here it is, all the way out here. Now, bear in mind, if other players see these, they will attack them. So I'm going to have to move in quickly because there's a battleship going in here. I don't think... Right, he's just entered the system, so he's not even going to be aware of it. So, the next one, hopefully, touch wood, I'm going to be able to do something with. <coughs> so, again, another easy kill for me. If you are on a server where ships that go OPC... Oh, we're not OPC yet. <laughs> um, just bearing in mind that some players may hunt you out for the biotoxins. They may come after your Voyager. So, probably using Voyager to summon these things... And using your better, more heavily armed warship would be a better option. So probably like, as I had Voyager on Dock B, send it in along with the Valdor on Dock A. Valdor punches the target, Voyager plays background. But I'd always keep the Valdor around um, Voyager just to be on the safe side so it's close by. Now let's have a look at this one. Where's this one coming in from? Here it is, so quick, uh, if we can just get it, so a quick look at it, this one's only got 301 biotoxins on it, but of course, I'm sure we're going to get more than that, and we will look at the bio battle log. If you've got the option to go for a system where there's nobody else in it, and do this, perfect, because then you don't need to worry too much. So, right, so there we go, so that's our three done. Now, I've gonna got a funny feeling I'm going to need to get this thing back to my base before those toxins appear in my loot. So, yeah, so I need to get them back. So, here we go. So, here's another edit. There is a cooldown timer on them, so just bear that in mind. <coughs> so, quick edit. 
Okay, so Voyager is returning to the basement for a higher impulse speed. It's not exactly rushing, is it? Yeah, I just thought that would have been across the system a little bit faster than that, but hey ho. Um, if you do have Kirk as your fleet commander, best off having him up there as well to increase your imp impulse speed. So, let's go straight to the Voyager tab then. And as you can see, now I've got uh, 2,196 of the things. Not enough to actually do anything with. My lord. So, here is the first part of the convolution. Is This is probably going to take a couple of days to do. Because, obviously, now I can't summon any more until tomorrow. So, here we go. Here's the first big hurdle that we've found. Like I said, this is going to be recorded over several days. Yeah, here we go. Round two. Okay, so I've got through the whole first day. Pretty much. We're just getting to the evening. And I'm about to record another video. And I just remembered one thing about Voyager. I forgot to mention. Well, you got time. Let's have a look at it. So if I move myself and press this I button... And if you can see up in the top, up there, I've got a one over field training. Yes, field training. I'm surprised none of you were screaming about it. But when you finally build Voyager, you will get this available. Now, as you can see, there are eight components to it. I've already completed the first two. And that's the advantage of grinding and doing bits and bobs before you've actually built Voyager. You've got this first one here, which is defeat um, Herogen Hunters. Well, you'll be doing that to get your relics. And obviously, everything comes with its own rewards. So you've got some circuitry fragments. Help towards your research. Um, activate Voyager's abilities. The first one is six. So obviously, that's the first, um, first couple of days. Obviously, building Voyager is the one that's going to start it all off. And obviously, with just this, you're going to get just circuitry fragments. Might open a couple of extra researches after this. Um, astrometric scans um, and the other one, the summoning. But there you go, Voyager parts and some more deuterium canisters. So there's an egg. So there, I've got that ability to use, um, show you the um, the base locator. So obviously, when I when I've done the next three tomorrow. I can claim this and actually show you it on that same section. So, defeating bioships, as you can see, I've already defeated four, but it's a no brainer. And this one, you're going to get some more exotic toxins. You can see that's easy, a chest worth there, and some of these commerce insignias. I'm just going to build them up. I'd recommend you do build them up um, first of all. Um, harvesting some anomalies, so you're going to get some samples, some more circuitries. And some of those all-important warp cells as well. So, absolutely worth going for. And then, of course, the last three you've got of um, defeating Delta Quadrant Hostiles. Trade Commerce continues um, in the refinery. So, yeah, you've got to spend some build them up first to do that on a bit quicker. And harvest anomaly samples in Delta Quadrant. 50 million. Yeah, that's a lot. But anyway, you're going to get some of these Donomite type particles you get 400 these are towards some prime research there are two particular researches that you would need them for i will briefly show you the art the art but we'll just quickly go through the main rewards at the top here harry and tom shards and as well from uh, levels two and three is also going to include um captain janeway so obviously you're getting circuitry and circuitry fragments and also voyage parts and some more commerce insignias so, you get about 8 shards of Janeway and about 10 shards of Harry and Tom. So, not particularly bad, but definitely worth a go through. So, now, just a quick cut to the um, the research as well that I've just mentioned that you'll need the my particles for. So, if it'll actually load up, here we go, straight in, and go into the there. And it's on a bit of a go slow at current typical evening and if we go into the galaxy tree i believe it was in the galaxy tree we saw, we had these um da, 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 no it wasn't the galaxy tree it must 
be the station tree then? Because it's the only other thing I can think. Yeah, here it is. So these are the two um, researchers that you want. These are prime researchers with 10 levels. There is a pack of, I think it's still available in the in-app store, where you probably need to spend in excess of $1,200 or £1,200 pound to actually gain the um, particles in order to do all 20 levels in total. Now, for G4 players and G5, ideally, this is the one that you will be looking at starting. Probably recommend going the first three or four levels. I mean, you get 1,200 of those particles. So you're just going to have to sort of like work it out how many particles you're going to need for each. But ship parts, being able to cut those ship parts right down as far as possible is absolutely beneficial. So it's like even level four gives you a 90% reduction in them. So... Yeah, it's a start. And then you've got Prime Ship Efficiency, which um, increases the cost efficiency of Tritanium, Gas and Ore and Crystal for ship components. So again, another another good one as well. Really cutting that cost down. And the values roughly work out the set. Um, oh, actually, no. Level 4 is 100% on this one. So it is... Is, is how you feel and whether or not you go for them. But this is a Voyager video, not about the research. But that's, those are the two researches I highly recommend that you spend those Dolomite particles on. But, of course, they are going to be a long-term thing. So, plan ahead. Don't spend them all in one go. That's what I do recommend. But anyway, so remember, click in there, go to the field training and claim those rewards. And then, and I'll, I'll tell you what, right? Let's just let's just claim them and see what we can actually get so far with them. So we're going to claim the first one. That's going to give us some circuitry uh, fragments, which will be towards the research. And then we've got circuitry fragments and some relics. So that's th uh, 540 circuitry fragments we've got. I've not got enough to actually do um, the first tab there. I'll have to go through another thing. But we will look at the... Um, yeah, the training as we go along. So if we actually click on the research now and go into the Starship's research tree, scroll across to Voyager, we should actually find more research become available. So like we're going to start here. So we've got 16 hours on this. So let's blow some speed ups. Um, yes, and we are blowing. Oh, I don't know if I'm going to have enough. Yes, I'm, I'm going to have enough. That's fine. So, first one's going to be 16 hours. The antimatter recycler increasing the warp range of Voyager, which means I'm going to be able to go out and hit those higher hostiles. And I'll show you that in um, tomorrow. So, again, we're just going to quickly speed that one up. We've got 16 hours um, when it catches up. And we should be able to do the five there. Yep. So, that's the antimatter recycler. Don't bother with the next one. Now, as you can see, we've got some various extra ones open up. We've got the sublight maneuvers, which is increasing your impulse speed for all ships. Yeah, so you could do that. This is your warp paths. So it's going to grant you a mission, which will help you unlock those super highways. This is the one I mentioned earlier. And enhanced warp energy, which increases the warp speed of all your ships. So this is going to be another one, which you're going to look at. So... Um, let me just make sure on the right, yep, because the next one on there is tinker, Tinkering, which is increasing scrapping speed, and then it stops. So, we want this one first. This is only going to be 8 hours, and we're just going to clear that off. We're, say, we're not going to be bothered too much um, about a lot of stuff. I want to get through some of this just to show you what we're doing. So, there you go, it's already a block there. Voyager Tactics will be the next one, increasing damage dealt to hostiles by Voyager. So this is basically increasing the PvE factor of your ship. So 100 circuitry fragments. So again, and I'd recommend doing this. Get to that cargo bay and get it get it done. Get it um, leveled up and every, um, well, in increase your cargo size because you will need it for the biotoxins and when you get those cells. So there we go, Voyager Tactics. Next one is going to be uh, Faction Battle. So this is increasing damage dealt to hostiles in the FKR sectors. So, oh, and this is as far as we are going to be able to go. So 
Um, if we actually look on there, you can see I've only got 30 left. I'm not going to be able to go much further than that. Um, so I'm just going to leave that one in and I'll claim it in the morning. But would chances are we'll be getting some more circuitry fragments in the morning when we re when we actually jump back into Voyager. So, join, um, the next section is going to be day two. So that's the um, field training section and obviously a little bit more research. There is also this one, the bad nerve circuitry, which is increasing your base research, um, strengthening the uh, defense, strengthening defensive sensors, um, increasing mitigation stats when fighting hostiles for all ships. So there is a lot of benefit in this research tree for everyone. And then you have got the faction um, Armada stratagem, which increases um, FK damage dealt to the FKR Armadas. By so, but remember these are all base facts as well. So yeah, but. Yeah, you've got a lot here. I mean, what was this one? Excursion, oh, increasing service cost rewards. So this help. This actually helps towards the away team's research tree. So, definitely some brilliant ones. Artifact extraordinaire. So increase um, adds a bonus rewards in the common and rare anomaly samples. So basically, being able to get that extra. Extra pull and get those um, tokens for the artifacts. So a lot of a lot in here, very good. But let's jump to day two and let's go out, get some more grinding out, and let's see if we can actually start opening up these chests a little bit more. Okay, so here we are on day two of Voyager, and you can see I've got um, my um, Valdor and my Discovery currently sat in Satar. That's a system we're going to be grinding in. Hopefully Voyager is going to be able to withstand it. But the Valdor certainly can with the crew formation. But then again, we're not really going to be using Voyager to actually attack if we can actually get this to work. Now, as I stated yesterday, um, the one thing you definitely want to be claiming every single day is the Herogen Her 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 loot. So let's get that claimed. Like I said, maximum pull all times. Try and get that maximum pull. 25 circuitry fragments. Oh my lord. Yeah, that's not going to get me much. Luckily, we've got the, um, we'll have the, uh, blah, 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 field, field training. So now, yes, that's literally just like 30, 40 seconds ago for you guys. But for me, it's like, a, a, like 12 hours since I recorded that segment. But anyway, so we're going to jump into the system. And so discovery is there. So what we're going to do is just have a quick look around the system. Really? Oh, there's one other person in the system. Okay, so we need to make sure that we do this right. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put all the ships at the edge of the system. Then I'm going to summon Voyager in and then we're going to call it in and go for the grind so we can go for the next um, chest. Hopefully. Touch wood. But if anything, we'll definitely be able to do the... Um, Oh, yeah, you, you know what it is. But obviously, like I said, this is all RNG based. So how much we're going to get, I do not know. Having 5 of 11 as captain on the Valdor is going to be beneficial. So Discovery is in position. Let's summon in Voyager. Yes, I'm not using efficiency because I needed the warp range for the Discovery um, to actually be able to reach this system. So let's call it in. So... And then we're going to select the Valdor to intercept. Now, Ben, now just a quick reminder as well. Anybody can intercept these and take them out if you don't get to them fast enough. So, as you can see, my Valdor's intercepted. So that will basically means even like another player could easily intercept. And, oh, it destroyed my Valdor. So, here we go. Okay, so using the Valdor ain't going to work. So we are going to have to actually use Voyager. Hopefully Voyager can take this one out. Yep, it's taking it out. We've just got an item appeared in the um, loot chest. And Voyager's actually done it quite handily. And it's the crew I'm using for this. It's PMC. PMC. And this is a level 39 system that I'm taking these... Bore, these... <coughs> um bio ships out so now let's just have a quick look because if we got a no there's no transports and 
In the high level systems, what you'll notice as well for those transports, I will just quickly mention, is they are all level 35. So I, you can be in this level 39 system. If you can see a level 35 red dot, go for it, because it's the one you want. So um, now we've got a problem, because PMC is not going to get us the loot we need. So we're going to have to sort of like play some jerry rigging here. And um, one thing to answer, there's a chance now we're not going to get that. Um, we're not going to get that loot chest. Right. So Voyager's back. So we're going to send Discovery back out there, and we're going to send Voyager home. We're going to repair the Valdor. We're going to change them around. So yeah. Right. So seven. Let, let, let's go for the fifteen minutes. Now, obviously, if you are an op lower ops level, I would not recommend going for these higher level systems. I've sent um, Discovery to the wrong system. And apparently, it's still got three minutes to travel, but it's already in the system. So, we're just going to send it over by normal warp. Because, obviously, we want to do it in Satash. And when Voyager gets home. Boom, 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 boom. All right, here we go. So, quick repair. We'll use some latinum on this one. And then we'll change the ships out. And put Voyager there. There we go. There's Voyager. Selected. So, now, I will just quickly show Voyager got a warp range of 70 can't reach there yet. The most my Voyager will be able to reach is Atana at what range 70. Obviously, for the next one up, you're going to need a what range of 110. Luckily, the next warp in what range enhanced is actually a 50 boost. Okay, so I had a slight interruption there, which took a little bit longer to solve than pop was I had uh, expected. Um, not quite sure where I was. I know we've done the one summoning, but um, is um, Discovery where it should be? Yes, it is. So we're going to move... Oh, there's another player in the system now. Okay, so that's fine. So we're going to move Discovery back there, and then we're going to summon Voyager in. So um, let's just see if Voyager actually appears right there. Um, no, Voyager's going to appear... Right where Discovery was originally parked. So we'll move Discovery back up here. Because um, obviously after all this we're still going to have to send Voyager. Um, we'll have to summon Voyager home. Because obviously we can't. If we try and recall it right now. It's too far out. It can't make it. So. Oh I've got the music. There we go. Let's put that back on. Because we love the background music. Don't we? So. Right. So. Voyager's going to have to intercept this thing. Now, the last one we had pretty much no issues with, with killing. So, here we go. So, there's the third, second one. And, oh my god, it's all the way over. Oh, hello. All the way over here. So, here we go. So, how much is this carrying then? This one's carrying 469. So, that's going to give me around about a 1,000, give or take. Maybe. I don't know. Actually, no. Probably not that much. But we're about to find out. And it disappears. But Voyager handled it nicely. 750. Okay. So that's not particularly too bad. So, but let's just wait for the cooldown. And then we'll summon in the third one. Then we'll go over to field training. Claim that. Then we'll go back to the refinery. Um, Because obviously we'll recall Voyager home. To do, to do that. So let's get Discovery coming home now. Ready. Um, and this is what we mean about a convoluted loop. It's so involved. There we go. There's the bio ship. Nobody's going to intercept it in time. Because I'm going to intercept it. So, But like I say, just watch out for the other players. They may try and steal your bio ships. Some servers might actually put a rule in place to stop players doing that. So it'll be just the um, players who don't care. Right, there we go. So 1,500 we've got for that. 
so what we can do first is if I'm going to, have to move myself out of the way because I'm too too big headed, we can go to the field training. We can come on, come on, come on. Here we go. We can claim the first one. So there we've got some parts and some more determined canisters. And I'll tell you what, we'll show you off that ability as well. So, and we've got the first thing up the top here. So we're going to claim that. Some more parts, circuitry fragments. So that's good. Defeat bio ships. Well, we've still got another five to kill. So that's another two, two days. Two days to do that. And then we can gain the 4,500 biotoxins. So, but now, before we look at the research, let's go to the refinery and see... Oh, hang on. We need to summon Voyager own first, don't we? Let's make sure... Oh, hang on. Has it not worked? No. Nope. There we go. Voyager's gone. We're out of the system. So let's dock Voyager, leave it there, and then we're going to go to the refinery. Nothing's highlighted, so uh, don't. Oh! oh, we got the chest. We got the chest. So, which means we can add in the extra. Oh, at 4,000. Good. That's going to give me a little bit of leeway in going into the next one. Not by much, like, but. Um, so there we go. So claim that. Voyager, an extra 50 Voyager parts. Yay! But we've got that all important warp cell. Like I said, if you've got the option to pull three, do it. Pull the three, get those cells. But if you have a look as well, the time on it is two days and 22 hours. Lord. However, now we're going to go out here. And obviously, Voyager can reach this system. So. Before we move on, um, anomaly samples. Right, so we need 30,000. We need 30,000. <sighs> okay. So, we're not going to be able to do this in one day. We're not going to be able to do this in one day. Um, rare samples, 32,000. Lord and behold. So, just trying to work it all out in my head how to go around it. So we'll fly to the system anyway. Um, I don't think we can reach that one yet. Are we? No, it's 225. So yeah. So we're not we're not going to get out there. Um, this is the other system that you are going to want because this is the other mining system because we are going to a mining system. So, but there are two things that we can do in there. So, so there's that system. Uh, the 505 system is the one we're actually going to go to. Um, if we can actually send Voyager there. Yes, we're going to spend our only warp cell. And this particular system as well, 247. 
Um, as you can see, the watt range for this is... I don't want that. Fat fingers. Is 470. So yeah, you're looking quite high. And then the last one is right at the end here, which is watt range 900. Now with Voyager's watt research, you will eventually be able to reach that, but you are probably looking like a tier 12 Voyager for it. So just bear that in mind. So Voyager's on its way. Oh, it's nearly there as well. That's good. So now let's quickly look at the research. Uh, this last piece of research, so we'll just claim that one. And then we'll jump back in when it loads. There we go. So, right, so as you can see, we can do various things. So, this is increasing some mining speed, um, antimatter recycler again, increasing that watt range. So, this is one. Yes, we are going to do this one. So, um, it's a 17 hour, so we'll just do that, do a five, claim two of them, and that's it. We've now got a 75 on top, so that's going to increase our warp range drastically. And as you can see, it's going to go up by another 50 to 125. So this will allow you to do Voyager. Yeah. Oh, loot gained from the killing hostiles at an amount. So this is going to be another one that I would highly recommend that you go for so 16 hours so let's get this one out of the way so click that also i've got an extra 24 days of speed ups um waiting for me whoops didn't mean an hour there but hey ho so let's get up to a five percent on this one as well probably the worst thing i could have done actually but I want that loot increase. Now, Voyager will need to be back home to see this take effect. Fortunately, I've already, un unfortunately, I've already spent that warp cell. So, which means if I try to recall, I'm going to lose it. I'd have to wait till tomorrow to do this bit. So, but here we go. Cargo. Here we go. Now, let's see how many levels of this we can actually do. But again, like I said, it's not going to increase our cargo level. Because obviously we are out of dock. So ego, so we've got two levels and we're going up by 133% on top. So that's basically an extra 3,000 on top. And we'll show you that when Voyager redocks. So as you can see, research not applied yet. So let's have a look in the system on what we have. So we have a number of nodes and let's just move, move these two out of the way. And we've also got these things flying around. So these are the common anomaly samples. Obviously, you'll go on here to mine it. 5,000 will fill up and I will get some anomaly samples. Again, I'm not going to be able to do too much because for the simple fact is I need 30,000. Big problem. Now, if we actually have a quick look at the field training as well in regards to what we need for in the mining side of things. So obviously we've got to defeat some bio ships as well. So we have the opportunity to potentially do that because they are bio ships flying around. Um, harvest anomaly samples, I need 500,000. So basically that's going to be like 100 times hitting that node. 100 times. So if you could try and reach the higher systems for mining, I would highly recommend it. And obviously the rewards are reasonable 10 warp cells to pay out for starters and then your other mining one as well is right at the end where you got to find mine 50 million yeah that's like um i think that's about 5 million nodes no hang on 10 million nodes 10 million nodes to mine that's a lot so really do get up i mean these things are built to last for time so don't worry too much about it. So now we're not going to do the mining straight away. We're going to jump straight into the bio ships. Here's what they contain. They do contain a smaller portion of the anomaly samples and some of the exotic toxins. I would highly recommend grinding these out over as much as you can. So let's just see how well Voyager withstands these things. 
Remember, these things need to be killed before round eight, because if we actually look at the battle log, I will actually use the ship that died for this battle log. Yes, we're going to use the Valdor. <coughs> so, but again, this is where... Um, so, as you can see, eight rounds, and we are going to jump straight to round eight, because this is the reason why you need to kill these things before... Round eight. Yes, you. Um, if I did include the screenshot of the firing pattern for these things, I can't remember if I've added it or not. But there you go. Here's round eight. Look at this. All the officers activated. We're going for another round. We're going for another round. Holy crap! That says 158 million. But yet, apparently, I took over a billion damage. Am I reading that right? Am I reading that right? Oh, 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 right. No, I, I'm not reading it right. I'm reading it completely wrong. Right. So, looking at this then, I'm looking, it's supposed to be around about 10 million, a uh, 10, uh, 10 billion shot. Something like that, that weapon. But, I'll put the screenshots up here. Um, but as you can see, I mitigated over a million damage. <laughs> My shields absorbed 2.1 million. Yeah, those shields are gone. They're, they're, as you can see, depleted, ripped to shreds. And then, obviously, 1 billion to the hull. Yeah, the hull just disintegrated. Absolutely disintegrated. So, that's your kill shot. If you get to round 8, you are screwed literally you're gonna lose your ship and this is why voyager is always the best ship even though tile took some of the hull off and then if we look at when voyager did come in again tile's taking some hull off again but we didn't take as much damage but we dealt with it within six rounds so now let's have a look at the um one at the top because this is the one we've just killed Again, nice and easy. Tile's not actually pulling that much off, but then again, this one's only gone three rounds. It's only gone three rounds. So, um, yeah. Now, you could use the G4 Ray 46. I'm sure some people are going to say use one of them uh, when you get there. But for low level players, just do what you can with Voyager. And as you can see, um, my cargo already at 1600 for this one so that's what I got out of that particular bio ship so this is why I would say probably just better off just grinding it out which is what I'm going to do so um, as you can see mining 6 seconds That's all. so it's going to take 10 seconds to fill my cargo bay because it mines at a decent rate and Oh, we've got a couple of uncommons as well. Oh no, that's a common that's a, that's a common one. So what's these ones then? Okay. But yeah. So now, what I will just say is this guy here. Yeah. Okay. For the love of bloody god, do not, do not use a normal miner on these things because yes he's drained the node but you are going to be stuck there for days and days the rare ones are even worse it can be weeks if you think about right if we do this right let's let's just put a standard my mi standard miner and we'll, we'll actually use one of my newer miners, right? And this will be a good comparison for those of us old enough in the game to actually, you know, remember this. And if I can just find the system, I think this is, this is it. These raw lat nodes. Big raw lat nodes. 
take a look at how long to drain that node. Two days and 22 hours. Two days and 22 hours to drain that node. Now, to fill my cargo bay for this, 6.3 million. So I'm going to need to refresh that node multiple times. Is that? Oh yeah, these are special nodes. These are faster nodes as well. So to fill my cargo bay with this, I'm going to need to clip onto it, what, 10, 12, 14, 16, up to 15 times minimum. That's a month of mining. Maybe just, maybe more than that. Six weeks of mining maybe to mine this and fill my cargo bay. Yeah. So using a normal miner on these nodes is not recommended. Now, yeah, you, like I said, you can put Voyager on, but you're coming in, you're just going to basically get 5,000 in a cargo hold and that's it. Or you can grind these out and you can build up your normally samples, your rare samples and your... Um, and your exotic toxins as well. So you you actually bat in for three different um, three different chests here. So I would highly recommend it. Yes, I've not got the cargo bay at current. So in three days' time, I will be able to get the cargo bay. Um, I don't. I mean, let's have a look. Um, are these bio ships actually counting? Yes, they are. They are counting to it. So I'm gonna. Oh no, I won't get this. I've got to mine all that. Yeah. So, and I, I tell you what, right? We've got the Vortivore up. Let, let me just let me just show you. Right. Here we go, Vortivore. So to do that, that's actually not particularly too bad. And now forty-seven. So, and it's only five thousand. So if I wanted to. I could spend a couple of days mining this node. I'd, I'd probably put a speed mining crew on. I've got a decent protected cargo, so um, I'm quite. I'll be quite happy with that. Um, but yeah, so I I could send a miner out in the early days to mine it with a speed mining crew. So I mean, do, does this guy actually give us any ideas of crew he's using? So, when it loads, okay, so he's using cargo protection, and he's using 5 of 11, which increases mine, uh, 11 of 11, which increases mining speed, so that's fine, so again, yeah, not too bad. Now, Voyage is obviously full, so what we're going to do is we're going to summon a home and empty the cargo bay, so that's that bit. Um, we're going to just quickly claim on this for the day. So that's going to give us some more exotic toxins, which will go towards tomorrow's chest, which means I could potentially open a, uh, actually three days time. We won't be able to do much more than that. But yeah, so that's it. That's day two completed. Okay, so here we are on day five. Yes, day five. And we're now ready to do our second collection of the Species 8472 loot. Now, first of all, before we actually do that, I'm going to collect this so I can do the um, summoning again and obviously get some of these circuitry fragments as well towards the research. Like I said, I am going through this bit by bit. As you can see, at the minute, I can get two chests. Ideally, you don't want the two chests. You want the three chests. So, now, there was something I should have mentioned on day two about when you actually get the first warp cell. You could just send um, your ordinary miner in to mine it, but then you're opening the system, praying, hoping that there's a node free. Well, by the time you actually watch this video, it should be free. <coughs> um, or you could just send Voyager in and get what little you can. 
which to me doesn't seem very logical considering that the base cargo for Voyager is 3,000 plus the research and your treasury on top of that which will give you whatever you saw which as we saw near the beginning of the video which I think for me was about 6,000 so that would have got me one ch one chest out of here yeah okay so um not one chest out of here sorry it would have got me um what it wouldn't have even done got done this but it would have got me close it would it would have got me oh, just a fraction about 20 18 20 percent closer so ideally don't um wait, wait till you can actually get the three cells because i'm going to do a little method which i thought about and i thought it through and logically There we go. It works. Logically. That's if I do it right. So, obviously, we're going to do the uh, claim in here. So, just do a quick scan of the system. So, we've got a ship in here. That's brilliant, because actually, we can use that for one of the um, the big red button there. So, let's just summon. Oh, great. And it starts right there. So, hopefully, he's not going to turn an intercept. No, he's not going to. So, that's fine. So, we, we've got away with that one. That's the last thing you actually need to happen is the fact it spawned near an uh, enemy vet. Uh, well, not an enemy, um, another player's vessel. Because if they see it, they can pop it, and they will pop it. So, oh, there's another active ship in the system now. Oh, great! Just what we don't need right now. So, um, we've got 26 seconds. So, bit of editing here. Okay, now I've summoned another one, and it, um, oh, it looks like he's also summoned one in for him as well. So, that's fine. Here's mine down here. So, it looks like he's also farming for, oh, he's just been blown up. And now that thing's sat there, oh, so he's, eh, I think I know what he's doing. That, that just doesn't seem right, I mean, yeah. So I'm guessing he's probably using the wrong crew on his voyage because that's got to be Voyager. It's the only thing Explorer. So now I'm not going to um, rearrange um, blah, blah, do any grinding in here today because we d I don't really need to at the minute. I would highly recommend that you carry on grinding though. I mean, yeah, it's a sort of like do as I say, not as I do thought sort of thing. But I'm not actually telling you what to do. But I'm recommending that you do gr that you do grind. So right, let's get the last one in. There it comes. Oh, and he's gone. He's gone. Boom. Okay, so that's fine. That's fine. I guess we won't be showing the um, starbase side of things just yet. But we if we find a miner, we can do. So. So that's for you done its three. So, and that's what I'm taking away. That's fine. So let's bring it home. Because now we need to set it up ready for mining. Now, what I'm going to rec recommend is you can see that obviously I've got a 12,000 cargo hold. Max cargo. Go max cargo. That's literally what I'll say with this one. So, right, let's get this um, crew changed over. So, here is the Max Cargo crew. 2 of 11, Stan, 4 of 11, and um, Lalan below deck. Obviously, Chris Cargo, no end. So, now we just need to scroll across. Voyager still travelling home. Here we go. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to send it on a flight out there. Once we actually, you know, clear off the timer. So swap ships and we'll just chuck the Defiant in there for now. And there's Voyager. Come out. And if we look at it, it's gone up to 17,000. 
Now, this is the little method I was thinking, okay? I mean, feel free to do it how you want, but the method that I'm thinking is, you see, I've got a ship D there. Well, here's ship D. It's my Hydra, and it's got the fastest mining crew I can think of, which is the Ferengi. Unfortunately, that one reduces your car protected cargo, so I've got about 191 protected cargo. That's fine. I ain't, I'm not going to be too fussy about that. But what we're going to do is we're going to jump back into here, go to the Voyager refinery, and as you can see now, I've got a full three chest pull. Literally by 100. But that's fine. Because I've got three three cells. Don't matter. Over the next three days with, with this cooling down, I can still go out and summon and I can get that 12,000 again. Not a problem. So here we go. <coughs> three warp cells, 170 Voyager parts, nice, and 300 commas. So that's that. Now, we are aiming on day five here to be pulling this single chest. Obviously, if you can get enough samples to do the 150,000, that's at tier one. Yeah. If you've got enough to do that, do it. Because obviously, you're getting all these chances and everything. So increase your chances by as much as you can. It's not linear, but we'll have a look because obviously I should be able to do the first chest now. <coughs> So what I'm going to do is I'm going to send Voyager in. Yes, it's got an upgrade available. Never mind. But because I only need 30,000 and Voyager has 17.7 17 thousand, that's 35.4 thousand I'm going to earn. So it's 5,000 more than I need. So, and that's just two runs. That's using two runs. So what do I do? I'm going to send the Hydra in. And put the Hydra on a node. And then I'm going to mine it. Now earlier we did see that it was going to be around about what? Two hours or something like that. I think we sort of sussed it out at. Um, let's just put the Vortivore in. Because the Vortivore has got the same mining rate as the Hydra. So we can get a, a, a rough calculation of the time saving with the Ferengi. Now, obviously, as a lower level player, this is probably a method that I would recommend. Because, um, obviously, you've still got a lot of grinding to do and everything else. So, let's zoom out. Oh, goody, there is a ship here. There's a couple of ships here, actually. So. Right, that's not even a full node. I, I prefer a full node. Here we go. One hour, 11 minutes to mine with a Hydra. One hour, 47 so basically, 36 minutes longer. Well, I'm saving myself 36 minutes. Okay. So now I'm going to go put the Hydra on there. And then Voyager is obviously coming to the system as well. And if we actually look at that same node, 13 seconds to mine it. So I'm going to fill my Voyager up quite fast. So... Here we go. We're going to do the mining. And then I'm going to warp away. Drop it off. Come back. Do another run. And then we're going to have that 30, uh, 35k. So I'll see you in a moment. Now, just before we actually do jump off, you'll see that node's actually disappeared now. So, yeah. Watch out for that bit. I totally forgot about that. The nodes just disappear after you've mined them. Right, just quickly, I've actually found a rare anomaly sample. These are very difficult to come by. So what I'm going to do, instead of... So I'm just going to put about 12 seconds worth of um, rare anomaly into my cargo hold. And you just see that node just disappear there. So it's not going to be an awful lot. Now, I would highly recommend that you do not put a normal miner on these. And... We'll show you why in just a second. Four days, 22 hours to mine that. And that's using the speed crew. If we go there, wow, n seven days, nine hours. That's using a normal miner. 
So would not recommend doing that. Now, obviously, because I won't have another um, another run available, sadly, I'm not going to go after that rare anomaly sample. But we will quickly look at the chests before um, we end. But anyway, now we will jump to the next bit. Okay, so Voyager has finally returned, and as you can see, we've got a number one on the anomaly samples now. So we can click on there and have a look. Now, obviously, it's all RNG in here. Um, here's your chances. I, I think we've already looked at this briefly. It was a few days ago by my count. So, but as you can see, 30,000 already, 38,000 in the kitty. Let's see what the RNG is going to give us this time round. And we're going to have 7 shards in the Proton Blaster, 65 parts, and 575 circuitry fragments. So we're going to be able to do a little bit more research, which we will tag on. Now, obviously, here's going to be the kicker for this one. Look at that. Five days. The rare one is seven days. So um, we're not going to add any extra just to show the case that I could be here for another week and a half before I get enough anomaly sample, rare anomaly samples to do this. I'm already at 4,000, so yeah, I'm literally, what, 25% of the way? No, not 25%, that's uh, 16, that's 8, 12.5%, yee! But yeah, so that's a rare one. So what I'll do is quickly jump back into the research to finish off. Um, obviously we've got the commerce, I'm not gonna spend any yet. And we'll quickly show you the um, field training of the progress where we're at now. <clears throat> now, just because I've made this particular progress does not necessarily mean that you will have. So just bear that in mind, because I am an Ops 46 player. For those of you at Ops 35, you're probably going to be a little bit less. There you go, 38.12 thousand mined. So I've still got a fair way to go. I've not even hit 10% yet. So, and apparently, um, I don't know what's happened here, but hey-ho. So let's quickly jump into the research. And see what we can do. So we've got high resolution. We've got antimatter recycler. So, right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to increase Voyager's warp range for starters. Uh, let's pick one to get rid of. We'll get rid of the 32 day one. We don't want it that many. There we go. So for three and a half hours, I don't really want to waste um, a full day, do I? So there we go. So now I'll put that in. So that's going to give my Voyager an extra boost in water range, which means I'm no longer going to need the Discovery to actually get around, which is going to be a godsend. That's saving myself some go go juice. So that's that one done. And then the next one is going to give it to 175. Um, yeah, I don't think we'll need to do that one. So now I can't open up a super highway because they're expensive. So yeah. So forge your cargo. Like I said, this is one where you do need to be looking at getting the cargo up as high as you can. Um, just do that. Ten hours that'll do. And then again, uh, yes, that's going to completely put me out of circuitries. Doesn't matter. I can do it again in five days. So I'm not particularly too fussy about that right now. So there we go. That's the cargo done. Um, Sublight maneuvers. Nah. But um, yeah, I'll stick that one in. That's fine. Might as well increase the mining speed. But if we jump out. And now Voyager currently stands at 20,000. But that's with the... Um, cargo enhancing crew so let's put it on another dock 
So I'll put the Enterprise in there for now. And then, oh, we can't put it in there. And then we'll put Voyager here. And then we can see where its cargo currently stands without enhancements. So, without enhancements, 14,000. Okay, so basically then all we've done is gone up by about an extra, what, 2,000? Something like that. So, again, cargo enhancing, absolutely critical for doing the mining side of things. But, yeah. And then combat crews for um, fighting the Undyne. But that is pretty much it. I mean, we're not going to have got anything towards the artifacts, sadly. So we don't need to worry about that. I've got plenty of buildings starting to crop up. But I've still got two buildings under um, underway. And I don't want to um, ruin their time of 78 days and 59 days. But that's the time recorded. So anyway, that's the Voyager loop. Very involved. Well, actually, a little bit involved. So to begin with... Before getting Voyager, send your best warship out. Go grind those relics from, <clears throat> in all honesty, go to the um, Fog of War area. The Vixilis and, and that. So go up there. Start grinding in there as an Ops 35 player. Um, is it? Yes. Yeah, Ops 35 I think it is. Start grinding them out. It doesn't just... Yeah, all you need is 500 per day for the blueprint. Any extra is considered a bonus. And the one thing as well, what I found is... And we'll have to take that off a minute. If we just go into the battle logs, it was something I was not expecting. But we haven't got it this time. And unfortunately, because I've been doing a lot of grinding overnight while I'm asleep. Yeah, auto grinding. Uh, the bio ships drop... An extra currency, which I'm just going to throw in here at the end. And if we jump up here, and I don't know how often the chest drops. I, I don't think it's regularly considering that's like, what, um, 12 I've killed now. And I've only got one chest for it. And I can't even go into the right bloody location, can I? But if we scroll back all the way up here, and... This system here, we get tokens for this particular system. It's not a warp cell. It is a Delta Quadrant Borg coordinates. And obviously these will be dropped by the Undyne in the gift chest. In your in your mega chest thing in Majigas. So watch out for them. A hundred of these obviously gives you enough to do a warp flight to this. You can use a summoning in there to get Borg cubes. Or some Borg ships, which will drop feder uh, which will drop faction messages. So there is that as well. Obviously, it's going to take me too long to grind this out to add this into the video, but you'll get there eventually, and you'll figure it out. But anyway, if you do have any comments, please drop them in the comment section down below. Um, so continuing on with the Voyager loop, then. So starting here, Ops thirty five. Go grind them out. Good luck. Have some fun. And if you've got a ship that can actually get all the way around here to grind more and bigger ones out, then please do it. Um, once you've done that, buy blueprints, 100 days. We'll go with 100 days. It's easier. It's a round figure. 100 days, build your Voyager, then start sending it out. Get your go-go juice um, from the refinery. So it's basically grind, refinery, grind, refinery, mine. Refinery, grind, refinery, grind, refinery, grind, uh, mine, refinery. So now obviously my hydro is going to stay put for the day and just to fill himself up to the um, required amount. It'll probably be there for a couple of days actually just to get myself up to that 150,000 mark to pull that three chest. But yeah, let me know what you think in the comment section down below. I do hope that this was a detailed enough explanation of how Voyager works. I do apologise that this video went on for a very, very long time. Hopefully in editing I have been able to cut it down from where it stands. Last time I saw it was about an hour and 15. This video is probably put up to an hour and a half, hour and 45. Somewhere in there. But, <clears throat> who knows. So, hope you all enjoyed yourself. 
I've been Admiral Pegasus. Don't forget to smash the like button on the video as well so you can spread it out far and wide. Don't forget to also share it with your alliance and all the younger um, lo um, lower level players who haven't got Voyager yet. Just to show you, look, this is how you do Voyager. Uh, Pegasus has laid it all out for you in a, in a video. It will take you about a week just to do up to that first um, anomaly chest as a free-to-play player. Alternatively, you could just go to the um, in-app store and spend some pennies. But that's up to you. If you don't want to spend the pennies, but you can always donate to the channel if you'd like. There are two links, PayPal and Cash App. All donations are greatly received and appreciated. It does go to help my family and towards also trying to get a PC set up as well, rather than me recording it on a little mobile phone. So, yeah. But anyway, don't forget to also subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Um, we are still on our way to a thousand, so more subscribers the better. Um, I've noticed that the join button for membership has not come on yet. I do not know what's going on there. Um, but yeah. But anyway, um, live streams on Tuesday night, um, providing I'm actually well enough because I've, at the time of recording this video, I've just started a new diet to help deal with my diabetes. So it's, yeah, it's, it's kicking my ass at the minute. So hopefully I'll still be able to do my live streams. But if not, we've got summer hunt at the minute. So yeah, enjoy that. But anyway, I'm at, no more depression, depressive uh, statements. I'm Admiral Pegasus. This is the Pegasus Show. This is Vo the case of Voyager and the convoluted loop. Yes, I like that title. <laughs> anyway, stay safe, live long and prosper. And I shall catch you on the next video. Goodbye.